So the real question is, would we go there again? this way. This is fun. For me, not for him. Oh look, there is a proper road here. Okay. I think it's there. Oh, that's a tree. Oh no, it got covered. There it is. And we are here. Um, I'm not even going to bother saying what this place is called because I feel like I will offend a few people. So I will just write it down here. Um, and I will link the website down below. Um, so we are in the apartment and I will show you guys what we're staying in. There's the front door, there's like stairs coming up here, and then here's the kitchen. It's a little cute, look at that kettle, little cute kitchen. And then there's the living room, the little fireplace, and the bedroom is on the other side. It's here, the big closet. We've kind of ruined the bed a bit. It's very cute, very old fashioned. It's outside the bedroom. And here's the bathroom. And the toilet. And then here is the shower room. And there's the little one. And then there's a balcony. Excuse me, Sophia. Which is over here. And our view from here is amazing. We have the view of the waterfall. We've got some rocking chairs. the apartment we're staying at very cute very cozy and lovely view and yeah where are we Sophia we're like at the bottom of the waterfall There is literally no signal over here. Mm. There's a pathway going up. How you two doing? Yeah, we're good. We've only walked here. <laughs> Ten steps. So, probably very careful. 
Someone's currently breaking their ankle on here. Have they? Yeah, it feels stoning like air ambulance here. Oh. So you don't climb on anything because there's good ways out of anywhere. And I don't really fancy and to uh, throw you over my shoulder. With Sophia? With Sophia, yeah. Really, really pretty though. Ooh. That's another pathway down there. Another what? Pathway? Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably go down there tomorrow. And this is the bottom of it. There is our apartment right there. There's the balcony, there's a bridge, we can go all the way up. Look at how pretty this place is. They're posing for the camera already because I told them to. So for this place, there were two apartments and one chalet and camping site. Um, ours was the red one, which is, if I can find it, I think it's over, it's right there, covered in the trees, ours the red one. And then there's the green one, which is the other one bed apartment. All go down the stream. I think we've got the better view, and pretty sure we're the first ones to book um, to book to stay ever since they opened up. It's busy now. Sophia! Dinner time! Well, mid-dinner. We have doner kebab and chips. I have jumbo sausage and chips. And Sophia's got nuggets and chips. And it is very good to the backdrop of the waterfall, which you can't hear with the door closed, but bugs for days. It's colouring, Sophia. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Oh, you're not meant to colour the table. Can you get the paper, please? Look at that. Here. Hey. Good morning. It is Sunday. We've got a lovely view here. Woo. Look at that, Sophia. How nice is that? Hey. So, at the top of the mountain, and we are here. And it feels say about a mile. Sorry? About a mile, and then you can walk up, and it's not as bad. Okay. Look at that stream down there. I think we have to go all the way up 
to the top there and hopefully we're at the waterfall what do you think? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sophia, let's do this oh man it's an incline oh yeah we're gonna have to go up, go up eventually we are the cream that rises to the top I might have to stop at the bottom take a breather yeah cream of the crop maybe we get it better Oh, I'm sure these are almost there we can hear the waterfall now it's really hot today there are sheeps here Sophia's looking at them they're literally at the top of the waterfall yeah we're literally there. Hell of a walk. Getting back down might be just as fun. That is beautiful. Thanks. Not you. Oh. Just gone from. Hell of a. Up there. Walk back to up, I feel. Are we going to carry on going? Yeah. I am so scared. We're going down the mountain now. Back to the bottom. Finally reached the bottom. Time for some ice cream. Oh, we finished it. Oh yeah, well. Well deserved ice cream. No. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time to try the food they have here. So the only selections were Jack of Totos or sandwiches. Yeah. And cookies. And cookies. It's pretty good. Look, this is huge. Lunch is done and Sophia's having her nap. And we're going to take this time to tell you guys a story about what happened yesterday on the way here. It just all seems like so unreal because on the way here there was traffic because it's all... Single track roads all around here. So two cars going opposite directions trying to get down there where there is a little indents that people pull into and let people around yesterday it was so busy here it just there was traffic trailing back for like a mile yeah and then selby here had a brilliant idea which almost caused us an accident it didn't cause us an accident and that's the main thing it didn't but almost it gave me pretty much a panic attack um there was a, what's it called? A verge, like a grassy verge on the side of the road, like that. So me being the uh, great A genius, decided to he mount decided it. To do that. The car was literally like this. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, was, it was really scary. bad. Really bad idea. Re you think so? The only yeah. other option was to turn around and people, I was not about to turn around after coming to an Two hours, 40 minutes to get here. Smart people would. Well, good thing you didn't marry a smart man. Sharp. Anyway, yeah, so that was very scary. Um, would you do that again? I think not. Just, no, 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 if you no, can't no. see her hand, it's like pinching my neck, like saying if you were to say yes to that. <laughs> okay. I'd snap it like a chicken. No, I wouldn't do it again because after realising how sort of we were yeah we'd already had a near miss like going there because we had to get over to let car in and I, we sank down onto the the hill a little bit and that was uh thrilling. yeah and there's only like chicken wires um on the side before you literally go down the hill so that would have been exciting 
That was. Yesterday, coming here was very exciting. And then we went to the shop to buy some supplies and food. And on the way back, Selby had to slam the brake because some guy was literally going, I don't know. 60. 60 on a freaking... Single track road where you can't really see any of the corners or turns. And then I had to reverse about... 200 feet because he couldn't move over at all for some reason because driving's hard <laughs> that is our adventure some might say we do like to have fun i wouldn't call that fun i would that wasn't fun don't do it guys don't do it don't get in a car with me yeah don't do it we are back to the bottom of the waterfall, a bit closer this time. And we were right at the top earlier. Two sticks. Ready? Yeah. Oh, we can't really see anything. Wah, wah, wah. Going home now. Sad it's over. What do you think? Yeah, really good. Really, really good weekend. Uh, yeah. Once in a lifetime, I think. Maybe. Maybe twice. But yeah, it's really pretty here. Picturesque, that's the word. Picturesque. Picturesque. And so it's been a couple of days since we got back from Wales and we are now ready to speak about our experience in the apartment that we stayed at. And it has scared the living life out of us. For my experience, we were actually talking about what we think about the apartment because obviously we've looked around it and you know it's very creaky it's it looks very old and just everywhere you step it creaks luckily Sophia is a heavy sleeper yeah. so she stayed asleep during the night time during her naps and the creaking didn't really bother bother her but yeah we were talking about what we like and what we don't like about the apartment and as soon as selby said yeah i said it's scary in here yeah he said that and the door that's been left open the whole day in the like because we have a balcony started to slowly shut there was no wind no gust from anywhere it was just shut by itself so we opened it back up and it stayed open for the rest of the night while we were while we were awake. And then the day after me and Sophia woke up before Selby did and we had the cuz it's got our bedroom have an ensuite and even though the door doesn't have any latch it still stayed closed the whole night the entire night until the morning and about an hour or something after me and Sophia were just playing in bed um, it randomly opened there's no windows open our bedroom door was closed and there's no gust or anything no breeze nothing and it just randomly opened so that was a bit scary and yeah and I literally did not sleep for two for the whole the entire time we were there so I've got massive eye bags and I've been trying to catch up with sleep yeah yeah so. well I had a uh, similar well not similar but when I was looking around because I misplaced something I walked underneath and I looked up and um, down one of the corridors is like a slab of 
wood just out of the place and I thought that looks like a loft that's odd no lock or anything on it so I pushed on it I thought oh that's a bit strange um, it's open and then I went into the room next to it and then I heard the walking across it it sounded well, what sounded like walking coming from the attic from the the loft above and I thought okay I'm not going to tell Razor that because I know she's already on edge I'm just going to make sure this door is shut <laughs> behind me so that God knows if what it, what was up there. It might have been rats. It could have been, but bear in mind we were alone in that whole um, vicinity. Is that the word? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because we were the first ones after the whole lockdown that booked it. So, because it is like a two-family kind of apartment that's been split in half um so we're literally the only ones that was there and the shop cl the cafe closes at half four and the groundskeeper uh he's like the warden yeah, he's yeah. Like... he uh he you know shoes everyone away by six o'clock um and then the gates locked yeah so that was pretty scary and we keep trying to like not think about it but yeah we're glad to be sleeping in our own bed as I will say yeah so the real question is would we go there again yes, yes. but we won't stay <laughs> no we'll go for a day trip but not for sleeping thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave us a comment and a like and subscribe and if you want to not miss any videos that we, we release please click that bell button and you will be notified bye 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 bye